In this demonstration, I will show you how to configure Remote Solve Manager to submit jobs to a compute server in a non-clustered setup. In this setup, users submit solve jobs from an RSM client such as Workbench or EKM. The jobs are submitted to Remote Solve Manager, which will manage and further dispatch them to the compute server for execution. The compute server is where submitted jobs are actually run, and therefore requires that ANSYS applications such as Workbench, Fluent, and Mechanical APDL be installed. The compute server can be the same machine where the RSI Manager service is installed, or can be a different machine. I will cover both of these scenarios. To begin, I'm going to right-click Compute Servers in the tree outline and select Add. In the Compute Server Properties dialog box, I'll specify a display name of My Compute Server. This can be any name that makes sense to you. It will be the name used to identify the compute server in the tree. Next, I need to enter the actual machine name of the compute server, or its IP address. This is the machine where ANSYS applications are installed and where jobs will be run using these applications. If you want to use the RSM Manager machine as the compute server, you can enter localhost in this edit box. Otherwise, if you want to run jobs on a different machine, you need to enter the machine name or IP address of that remote machine. Now I need to specify the role of the compute server machine. I want jobs to be executed on the machine that I'm defining, so I'm going to select Performs Computational Work. The final setting that I need to specify is the location of the working directory. This is the directory on the compute server where job-specific scripts and input files are staged during a job run, and where output files are generated. If jobs are going to be run on the same machine where the RSM Manager service is installed, you have two options. Selecting the Reuse Manager Storage option specifies that you want to reuse RSM Manager's project storage directory as the working directory. Selecting User Specified lets you explicitly specify an existing directory on the compute server to be used as a container for job subdirectories. To specify the path of this directory, I can enter either an absolute local path or an environment variable that defines a path on the compute server. If jobs will be run on a different machine, only the user specified option is available. When I click OK, the new compute server is added to the list of compute servers. I can add this compute server to any RSM queue. To create a new queue, I will right click Queues in the tree outline and select Add. I'll specify a name for the queue, then select My Compute Server to assign it to the new queue. Now, when a user runs a job using this queue, the job will run on My Compute Server. To test the configuration, I will right-click My Compute Server in the tree and select Test. This runs a test job on the compute server that I defined. I can see that the status is finished, which indicates that the compute server is properly configured. Note that if this job or any job fails, I can select the job, right-click in the job log window, and select Save Job Report. I can then send the saved job log to customer support for troubleshooting. This concludes the demonstration on configuring RSM to submit jobs to a compute server in a non-clustered setup.